Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. I got a guest with me today. I got Shadow Play Red. Uh, he was recently in the uh, Challenger Qualifier over the well the weekend. Um, how's it going today, Shadow? Hey, it's going quite well. How are you doing today, Devil Driven? Good. Uh, we're gonna highlight your list, uh, the uh, the Armor Nova list. Uh, I like Siri Nova decks. I think they uh, they help out people when. Uh, when they're first starting out, you just craft Siri Nova. Most decks have two of, so you you got a big play going right off the bat. Um, but what we're gonna do is uh, we'll have you explain, you know, some of the the highlight cards that you like in the deck, and then we'll play some games with it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm gonna I, it, really with this deck, it's um, it, it's set up for a purpose of giving you. Um, uh, a nice round one finisher um, most of the time. Um, you know, it can be, uh, you know, tricky, but it uh, allows you to establish tempo very early in round one and possibly finish off your opponent in round one while getting uh, card advantage or at least going in uh, second round with your um, uh, with level on cards. But um, uh, it, it's definitely an early rounder, which is uh, good, but it's also a late rounder. Some of the cards I really like in this deck, um, I'd say all the golds are fairly um, uh, irreplaceable. All of them work really well in tandem. DJ is a great, great uh, finisher. Um, sometimes whenever you still have Siri Nova in your deck, um, this deck fins really well. So DJ is a great, great finisher. Shani's really good. Um, for bleeding your opponent, keeping uh, that round two bleeding going, which is something I'm very favorite uh, thing of mine that I've been taught by uh, great players. And now that I've been using it for quite a while, it works well on me. Um, Vincent Mace is really, um, he is a flex option here, but I really like him just because he, especially when it in hand round one, um, and you're stacking on that armor. He is a very, very spicy round one finisher. I've uh, dropped him probably in three out of my last uh, five or six pro matches and uh, been averaging somewhere between 20 and 25 points with him. Um, so that's uh, really great. Um, I would say, though, that the MVP of this deck, the MVP of all MVPs is Mr. Prince Dennis himself. Prince Dennis is the backbone of pretty much most of my NR decks. Um, he thins. He pulls things you need quite often. Sometimes, sometimes he does pull things that you don't need. <clears throat> Vincent Mace. Um, but he does uh, provide quite a helping hand. Um, also, with decoy teched in, you can uh, decoy him in the first round after playing him. Uh, however you play him out, whether it be through John Madlis, whether it be through uh, himself, um, you can also hold on to that and shiny him and decoy in a later round, which is another great, great combo. Um, I would say out of the bronzes, you know, your key key bronzes here are going to be um, your Redanian Elites and your Kedwani Cavalry. Um, those two, if you can keep one of each in your starting hand, it will give you a 24 or 25 point, um, uh, in, it, it provides, excuse me, it provides you with 25 points, um, quite early in the first round. You're talking about two cards, 25 points. I highly, um, advise not stacking your, uh, line with these, um, people I am seeing here lately in the meta are teching Igni. Uh, at least in uh, Pro Ladder, so be wary of that. But those two are definitely really good. Um, you know, it's really tough to to kind of say what is my favorite on the bronzes, though, because all of them provide a little bit of something special. Kedwani Knights late. If you can keep both of them and pull them with uh, thin uh, properly, you can pull them with DJ for a big, big point swing late. Um, the Redanian Knights are really, really good against Dagon, uh, putting them in fog. They just keep boosting, keep boosting, keep boosting. Um, it's definitely irritating uh, for the fog heavy decks. And of course, your Tormented Mages are strictly there to thin and also throw uh, a ton of armor down. So, um, you know, this deck, you know, if I, like I said, if I was to pick a favorite card, it would be Prince Dennis, but uh, all of them are really, really solid. 
Yeah, the tormented mages are really annoying because you you ping down the the knight elect, and if you don't remove it, it just gets it back up and running again. Um, another thing too is like when uh, when Vincent, you drop Vincent, and you didn't get a chance to proc the uh, elites, they go off as well. So he like it's like a double whammy, you know what I mean? He just he he gets buffed up, and then these things get buffed up as oh, well. It's exactly. Just, it gets ugly real fast. There's I mean there's a lot of bombs in the list. I mean. And a it's lot not of bombs. just yeah, it's not just Nova. I mean, it it comes from from all sides, so it's definitely Indeed. a really cool list. Indeed, it is. It is a lot of fun. Now, it is not without its merits. It does have its weaknesses against a couple factions, but uh, uh, they're not out of the realm of possibility of being um, unwinnable, per se. So you know, you definitely. Um, you definitely have multiple win factors, most multiple factors of gaining tempo with this deck. So um, it is, in my opinion, something that's very solid versus the current meta, right. especially for beginners. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna put the link to the the uh, Gwenty B list in the comments. Uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, uh, he deserves it, man. He wrote a big old article on it, man. It. Uh, that that takes serious time, so definitely stop by, take two seconds, give them a thumbs up. Uh, we're gonna Would play some games and yeah, we're gonna play some games and see how it goes. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, uh through the spy first off, that was a bad thing as well because it pretty much ensured that we were gonna stay two cards down. Okay, not too terribly bad to start. We're gonna get rid of Cade, uh Thunderbolt first. Uh, Kedwani Knight. And you know what? This actually is not bad. I would uh, go ahead and keep it. Yeah, this is a bad hand. So, now my question is, is what do we do for the mangonels? Do we just, when, once one comes we down, lock. we just instantly, we just lock, go for the lock, even though you might have two. Um, uh, yeah, no, I usually tend to, uh, I'm, I tend to go for the school of thought of uh, slightly waiting. That's yeah. why you throw things down with armor first. So we're going to go ahead and go, we're going to guarantee that we get that Redania Knight Elect. So we're going to use reinforcements. Yep. Reinforcements? Yep. We're going to guarantee that sucker because we have Stennis in hand. So you have to take the... that. Or the knight? Uh, the Redanian Knight Alex. Or Elite, sorry, sorry, sorry. I get them mixed up. Redanian Elite, sorry. The Redanian Knight Alex are the boosting guys, or the tickers. Apologies. Yes. All of them are so closely named. Redanian Knight, yeah. Redanian Knight this, Redanian this. So you gotta kind of Kadewani this. Don't, don't make them change it. <laughs> I'm just learning these cards again. Yeah, they they, they they switch them up on us about every few months, and then it's... Uh... Here comes the mango. Yep, and, and indeed. And him pulling with that makes me think that he does not have one in hand. I mean, he could be suckering us, but in my opinion, when you use your big silver to pull one, it means you didn't get one in your hand. So let's go ahead and lock both of them. Let's risk it to get the biscuit, as they say. There's the second yep. one. I did quite always, you know. That's all. That's all right. That is all right. What we're gonna do here is let's see. Let's go ahead and go um, reconnaissance. Let's get us some points at least. He's gonna take them away, but we need to get up on him to where we're still level. Yes, we're gonna go with that without a doubt. Take that uh, armor. Don't stack. Well, that's okay. I, I usually don't stack just because I'm kind of. Uh, gun shy on Igni at the moment after my tournament experience yesterday. <laughs> so, and my pro ladder streaming yesterday. Um, and it was uh, an Igni fest. People are very, very... As you can tell, we had a pretty big uh, points lead. Um, it would have been, We would have been down by something like 25 or 30 if we hadn't have gotten that lead. So at least at this point we're only 8 points behind. There's a, you know... Uh, go ahead, yep, yeah, drop that uh, in the middle of either one. Does not matter. We're going to get ourselves ticking. So he's that gonna will play get us this, back. 
and then we'll we'll go back into tormented mage. Yep, yeah, we just need to make sure at all times that we are keeping 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 um tempo. We got to stay ahead. If not, he will pass and effectively put us two cards down again. Um there he's are gonna, He's going to switch this with the Oh, he unrevealed it. That's a new one. Yeah, I think he's probably got something in his hand that takes uh it's a little bit of a hand buff uh uh, deck. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. Marching and, orders. Uh, yep, marching orders. We'll play one of those first and get um, yep, get that out, and then just apply uh, apply that on the three with the Redanian Knight. Yep. And then next uh, play, we're gonna uh, if we got, you know, I would say single digits or like we're only down ten or something. Let's see, what are we down by thirteen? Um, Stennis into okay. Let's uh, hold off on Stennis one more time. Let's go ahead and just apply uh, more armor. We will need to play Stennis. I'm just hoping that we can. Uh... Okay, we could pass here. Let's hope that he's not that he's greedy. He is greedy. <laughs> That's the thing uh, in Gwent. People oh, need to understand uh, uh, understand that. Um... Okay, opponent connection lost. Um, let's I... see. How much armor do we have at the moment? Uh, we got six, ten, twelve, and then we're gonna pop for five. Let's go ahead and play Stennis now. I think we can. Something's gonna can happen with this. He seems greedy and seems like he wants to play. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that'll get us right what we need, and with the boost, it will keep us up by two. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we want. And we are going to go um, greedy here and play John Nadlis into um, uh, into decoy onto Stennis. Tamaria has yet to speak its last. And then we are going to finish this damn round with Vincent Mace, and he should pass. Yes. This is oh my be a god. Super, this is going to be a nice, nice point swing for us when we drop Mace here. He will keep playing this because he's only down by seven. Yeah, and he has a one point spy. <laughs> yeah, he is going to definitely keep playing this. Confounded boots. Really? Okay. Really? That's quite all right. Let's go ahead and drop Vincent Mace. See if we can get this guy out of the round. And like that, we are up by 31 points. If he does not pass here, I will be extremely surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's weirder a, things that's, have happened. That's a huge swing. Yes, 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 it is. Okay, he's he's going for it here. Um, he's pulling something. Um... <laughs> it's wow. another Igby. One point. Wow! 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 wow, wow. Okay, um, yeah, like I said, Igni is, is back, people. It is back. It is back. At this point, I do not believe there's anything Vincent Mace, even if you pulled him with Shani, is not going to do anything. Um, I don't think you can pull him anyway with her, but maybe I think you can, actually. Yeah, you can pull mages with her. Um, yeah, at this point, I would advise just go ahead and uh, playing Spy. You know, uh, actually... Let's see. Yep, play Spy because it's going to cause you to have to... Um, his is only one point next round. And... We'll take Elite, I guess. The knight. No, no, take that. Yeah, take the Knight. Yeah, go ahead and take it. He's going to pass here anyway. It's unfortunate that he... Did not pass. <laughs> Which is, is, is I'm not, he's still going to get the card up next round, but uh, that's just kind of odd to me. Um, yeah, we got nothing really. In, all we have is this, and we have no armor to ping it. Yeah, yeah, no. So it's going to have to pass. Again, it's not the end of the world going a card down. You still have DJ, still have Siri Nova. We have thinned a good bit. You know, um, it's like I said, right now I've, I've noticed that Igni is back. So. Um, it, it possibly might be good to tech, um, like keeping an empty line for your finisher. 
Um, that way it doesn't get burned. Um, we're going to get rid of K20. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I the kept eight. Knight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's, it plays better out of the hand. And Reconnaissance you always want to keep because it thins. What? Okay, he's going to keep playing. Um, go ahead and play the seven. That's strange. I wonder why he kept going. He's got something in his hand. He's thinking that he can finish you this round. And possibly could end up playing. Uh, that's why it's good not to have that knight in your hand. Because it still gives uh, DJ. Um, it gives DJ a, a, tar a nice target for the, for the next round. And we'll see what he's playing with here. Okay. One manganel. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and shiny in to Stennis. See what we get here. I'm a medic. I tend to know what I'm doing when I prescribe something. This is priceless. Okay, yeah, just drop it wherever. Yeah, the mulligan thing might bite us here. Um, if we had reconnaissance, we could probably pull something a little bit. Um, to, and just fingers crossed that he passes here. Doesn't look like he's going to, though. Go ahead and drop that eight. He's probably going to make us burn our Siri Nova, which is going to be a bad thing. I guess top decking, maybe we can top deck nope. EJ. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. He just did us a huge, huge alley-oop there. Like, literally, that was... Um, uh, Rondo alley-oop into Anthony Davis for the dunk <laughs> as yeah. a New Orleanian. I will say that. Okay, uh, this, let's see... Uh, Try for DJ, huh? You got a one yep, and three. Yep, yep, yep. Why not? Right. Okay, not bad. Not the worst. Not the bad, not the worst. Okay, um... Yeah, just go ahead and play him. Thank you. So what does it for him here? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and play her beside uh, beside him or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Watch him have Scorch. Yeah. Either one does it, right? I'm itching for that battle. <laughs> Two pointed. Vilga Forts, Siri Nova. <laughs> nice. All right, let's try another one. Quite all right. Alchemy is a tough um, is a tough matchup, but definitely not unwinnable. Um, let's see here what we got. We want to mm, let's get rid of one reconnaissance. These are okay, dead one. in the water, man. <laughs> but, well, they might live. It depends on if he's got it set up for nine or eight. Yeah, go ahead and uh, drop one of them. Okay. Really unfortunately, the, unfortunate that there isn't a way of getting Stennis at this point. Um, get rid of the Redanian Knight. Uh, at the What is it? The Redanian Knights, the ones that tick with weather. Yeah. Get rid of one of those. Well, that okay. worked out. It's not bad. Not the the worst. Not the the. Okay. <laughs> Quite all right. Um, it's a highly unlikely that he draws two of those unless he's super lucky. So let's just go ahead and run our lock immediately. Um, I don't think he's gonna uh, pull it. But I haven't had one pull double in quite a while, so I usually I, I paid my my price one time for not locking it early, and it just kept boosting and kept boosting, and kind of count was counter into uh, or counterproductive on my part. So we'll see if he pulls it again. It's quite a possibility, <laughs> and he actually does. He he high rolls into it. Very very funny. Um, okay, uh, let's go ahead and drop one of the Redanian elites. You know, it's it's kind of like I said, you gotta risk it sometimes. Um, but one time I kind of said, "Oh no, you know." Whoa! Wow. He's got it up for how much was that? He That's just hit thirteen <laughs> or twelve. Actually, 12. was it eight and four? Twelve. So he wants to kill his spy. I bet you he has thirteen. He does have eighteen cards in the deck too. 
Um, wow. Yeah, he's pretty much going to be able to destroy everything with Witcher, <laughs> Viper Witcher. He must have ran into this deck, man. Holy shit. Or he just, is t it, it, that's his thing, is replaying Viper Witchers and destroying everything you play. Can um, you do it again? I'm not, you can, yep. Uh, or if uh, we want, we could just play the Redanian Elite and bait him out and let him just go ahead and destroy it. Redanian, and then which he, one's the elite? The the, the one. one that boosts. No, the or the Redanian Knight Elect. I apologize. Yeah, go ahead and put him out. Just let him let him attack it. Jesus, I'm getting absolutely pummeled on. Uh, who is this from? We did, oh, we, it's we it's go from Amber. We go one and... more or no? Can we make it up in one card? We could definitely make that up in two cards if he doesn't attack it. Um, he's got, what, two Viper Witchers on? So let's go ahead and play Reconnaissance first, see what we get out of it. Might be something he can't... Uh... Yeah, just play the seven. Yeah. Best game up now. So 13. Mm. Holy cow. Is it time to jump ship? <laughs> well, we do have card advantage. It's a positive there. Um, we could just go ahead and... Uh, he has not played Spy yet, right? No, no. No, we got the, the Elect and Knight in the graveyard. Let's go ahead and play the Spy now. Be fine. Uh, yeah. yeah, it'll be fine. Play the Spy now. And just take reconnaissance, yeah. That was, and he will pass here, most likely. Yeah. That was brutal, and, man. Just. Oh yeah, I've I've not seen Viper Witchers up to twelve yet. <laughs> that guy is going all I in guarantee on it's Viper Witchers. I guarantee it's thirteen, so he could kill. And I guarantee spot. you, he's a a trial of glasses guy. Yeah. I have a hard. Ooh, very bad. Uh deal there. Uh, that's good. That is a what we call a stinkerino um, of a, a pool. It's like whenever I, uh, I get bullied out sometimes in the second round I get one of them and a thunderbolt or two thunderbolts dealt to me and I have my mages in hand. He blacked that out really early. Oh yeah. He's taken uh, he's eating that spy of yours. Which he is trying to develop tempo and push. So, uh, yeah, if he just starts destroying everything at this at this point, you probably just might as well forfeit. Because if he starts pulling Herbalist into the Viper Witchers and um, destroys things, then it's pretty much oh, okay. Now he's spying. So he's uh, let's go ahead and cavalry uh, uh, bottom row, bottom row. Yeah. Just in case he's... I have a feeling he's he's doing all kinds of crazy shit. He's trying to to get people out of the round. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. And then we'll reconnaissance after this. Hopefully high roll it into something good. Yeah, if, two, if we go two for two on cards, here comes the Witcher. He's going to kill this spot. It's uh, 13. Wow. 13 point Viper Witcher. 13 point. That, that's 13. It may be more. Yeah. It may yeah, be more. Let's be honest with you. Cards <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, reconnaissance out. We want to start stacking though, right? Yeah. The seven. Yep. And just stack it on something. Uh, probably the bottom row since that's, a, you never know. He might be. Doing something with this whole spy, uh, um, he might have. Uh, I seriously doubt he uh, tech so not rain farm. What's I'm not an NG player. Um, who is it that uh, destroys your spy? The gold. Oh, oh, I know you're talking about the uh, Menno. Menno, yes. <clears throat> I have seen it teched in this deck, but it's highly unlikely. Uh, I don't know. 
I'm just seeing what. Okay, marching yep. Orders let's go ahead. Into this. Yep. Yep. Let's start basting it with some armor. All right, I want to see him kill this. 18 <laughs> points. Do it. Oh, it's alchemy. Shoot. Yeah, see, he establishes early and gets to, gets you, kills all your shit and then gets you to bounce and then piles it on. Yep, that again. You are right. He may also have foul ill in his hand, so stacking the line here might not be a bad thing. Then again, it might be a horrifying thing because <laughs> everybody is igni crazy. With 3 p.m. Eastern, be okay. Our lady's voice chat is at 2, and I'd like to make sure I have time. To oh, he out. stole her armor. Why didn't he steal it from this one? Oh, he would have gave us a boost anyways. So what do we do here? Take the armor off to the other one with that. Whatever's... Yep, I'm sure that's the highest, and that ends up getting its armor back anyway. Yeah, I think you're right. He's gonna go. He's gonna go down to two cards, and it's probably gonna be ointment into Viper Witcher into Trial of the Grasses. This doesn't do it. We got a DJ, huh? Yeah, it's going to be a DJ kind of day, so let's, fingers crossed, see what DJ pulls us. Better to do it now before he throws a sire anyway. Yep, that's good. Um, play that. Yep, let's get Stennis out. And then we'll decoy Stennis right after. And that should shut the round out for us. Yep. And then Stennis, boom, yep, decoy his ass, boom. Ninety six, that's pretty good. Yeah. So if I we was... can draw it if we could draw Shawnee. It would be a very good GG. I bet even with you would still probably power, power him out. Alright. So we play the Ooh. eight? Yeah, play it. Play the eight. Dude, just the hell with it. That gives us a sixteen point. We are 18 points. Well, we're going to for sure draw Shawnee because we mulligan into it. Ooh. So Shawnee into... Uh, that's still Shawnee into Stennis into Vincent Mace is still a good a good pull. Right. So we're definitely going to... Yep, keep, keep, keep. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you're... It's it's crazy how, how it... Um, you and just Shawnee don't... You don't, you don't play... You don't picture... Uh, play Shawnee first? Yeah. You don't picture Northern Realms thinning like this. And it thins. This deck thins. That's the good thing. That the bad thing is when you face a uh, face a um, uh, mill deck. Which, believe it or not, I faced a mill deck of of a, of a sorts in pro last night, and it milled me to where I had nothing at the end. I couldn't play DJ. I couldn't play bar. A dead DJ, dead marching orders, and dead something else. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yep, it's. Oh, I've not seen a mill deck in quite some time. All right. So he 22. wins. It does. It looks appears to be that way. Well, that goes to twenty-five, right? So it's a twenty-point win. Twenty. So it, I think you actually might win. Oh no! He just had the crow's eye. <laughs> no, it's a GG. <laughs> GG. 13 Man, point I witchers. 13 point Viper Witchers, and <laughs> it beats it. Now, if that's not a decent deck, I don't know what is. Right. Absolutely, man. Um, Word up. Yeah, that's the video for today, guys. Um, yeah. You got anything for the wonderful, wonderful Gwent community today? Um, Listen. I will tell you this, if y'all have not uh, joined Gwent Masters Worldwide on Facebook, um, please join us. Uh, we got some big things coming up uh, for Challenger, uh, working with uh, another great uh, community, Lodge of Sorceresses. 
and CDPR themselves. So please, please come by and join us. We're over 1,100 strong on Facebook and across uh, many other platforms. Um, and also, uh, I'm, I stream at nighttime. So uh, if you're up in the United States around uh, 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, that is around 1 a.m., uh, to 2 a.m. in Central Europe, unfortunately. But um, if you are up late in Central Europe, please stop by. I do stream around those uh, times four days a week. Follow me at Shadowplay Red on uh, Twitter, and you can find out when I go live. But I appreciate it, Devil Driven. Yeah. This was fun. No problem, man. I'll thank you for stopping through and having an awesome list here. Like I said, I'll put the link to his uh, the Gwent DB uh, link in uh, in his uh, Twitch channel as well. So. Like always, guys, Excellent, thank man. you. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Shadow, for stopping through. Thank and we you, will sir. We'll see you guys next time.